playing was a southerner, uh, and he was born in a plantation family and had a lot of slaves that he inherited. As soon as he inherited the slaves, he freed all of them. He was anti-slavery, and he was a very strong supporter of Lincoln and advocate of eliminating slavery. So, this is uh, Prince Gorchakov to play about the reaction, and then we have a lot of things about the Russian reaction. Uh, play writing to the Secretary of State Seward. So, you would like to read this? This one first? Yeah, that one first. Okay. Oh, anyway, you're comfortable. Okay. <clears throat> okay, Prince Gorchakov to Mr. Clay. St. Petersburg, May 16, 1865. Mr. Minister, in informing you in the name of the Imperial Cabinet of the profound indignation excited by the assassination of the President of the United States and the heartfelt sympathy which the American government and people have met with among us in this, their national grief, I was certain of having expressed the sentiments of His Majesty the Emperor. Scarcely has my august master returned to his dominions when he orders me to testify to you his grief at this painful event. Tried himself by a woeful loss, which is also a cause of national mourning for Russia, the emperor joins in the unanimous regrets which encircle the memory of the eminent statesman snatched away so suddenly and in so terrible, in so terrible manner from his noble career. His Imperial Majesty requests us, Your Excellency, to transmit to you, in his name, the assurance of his living and deep sympathy with the family of the late Mr. Lincoln and with His Excell Excellency President Johnson. Okay, thank you. And this is a Clay letter of, uh, from Ambassador Clay to Secretary of State Seward uh, about conditions, uh, a reaction in Russia to Lincoln's assassination. Okay. Legislation of the United States, no, Legation of the United States, St. Petersburg, Russia, May 4th, 1865. Sir, I know not how to express my grief for the loss of our great and good President Lincoln and my indignation at the crime of which he is a victim. I thank God that you are spared to us and I trust that our country and the nations will still continue to reap the fruit of your patriotic labors and pacific sentiments. The ambassadors of France and England called in person, and those who did not do so wrote letters full of admiration for the virtues of the late president and horror at the crime of his assassination. His Imperial Highness, the Grand Duke Constantine, sent his aide-de-camp, General Grieg, her Imperial Highness and the Grand Duchess Helen sent Baron Rosen and his Imperial and his wait a minute and his Imperial Highness the Prince Doldenberg called in person all to utter sentiments of sorrow and sympathy with the American government and people. A great many distinguished Russians also expressed their grief at our loss in words and through the press. Her Imperial Highness, the Grand Duchess Helen, who is well versed in the polit politics and history of our country, has invited me to call upon her informally on Saturday with a view of giving us further evidence of her kind feelings for our nation and its progressive cause of which she is an admirer. These sentiments of esteem and sadness are gratifying to me and such as led me to and as such, and such as lead me to the hope that the martyrdom of our noble friend will, at home and abroad, consecrate in the hearts of all men the principles of liberty and self-government for which Lincoln lived and died. All right, thank you. <clears throat>